star of the game. Absolutely incredible performance. How are you feeling after that victory? Uh, not as good as I felt after the first inning. Definitely got roughed up a little bit, but I think that's what I needed. Got to get sharper for next game. Come back tomorrow, try to throw more strikes. What are you going to work on leading into the next match? It's good control, um, preparation. Definitely uh, going to try to do mostly more of the same, but maybe try to mix up a few more pitches. All right, guys, congrats on your win. Yes, sir. I don't know if you guys want to speak. First of all, rivalry comes together to try to win this here. What's the intensity of the game? How'd it feel? Bro, it was so intense. Like, at least for me, yo, like, I had a little bit of nerves going into it, you know, but once that first pitch is thrown, it's like kind of eases up a little bit. Good energy, bro. Me and him, match made in heaven. All of a sudden, bro, the yeah. rivalry's coming together. Good first win. Yeah, we... we we hate each other's favorite team, but we also both hate mayonnaise. We do. So we and we've already found common ground. Tomatoes, too? Do you not yeah, like yeah. I'm not a big tomato guy, but yeah. mayonnaise is the worst mayonnaise condiment. Foul, it's not bro. even close. Yeah. Some call it the devil's cum. <laughs> How do you feel about gluten? I'm okay with gluten. Gluten's great. I've been wishy-washy on gluten, though, lately, bro. Oh, see, we're going to pull... We're, I, he's going to come around. I he's going to come around. I sandwiches today with bread. So I'm kind of like, you know, living on the edge. Maybe that's what contributed to uh, today. Dan. Yo. I just want to say... I'm so proud of you. Dude, thank you, bro. And I, I kind of felt that in the fucking, uh, oops, sorry. Um, in the stadium, whatever it's called, or warehouse. It's called? warehouse, whatever. Um, good energy in there, bro. And, like, it was such a good feeling. I said this to Paxton, but, like, that, I swear to God, bro, is, like, in the top three moments of my life. Like, I needed that hit. I know that's kind of sad to say, but, like. Too. Super sad, yeah, yeah. Pretty embarrassing. <sighs> I don't know yet. So this like, is top, top one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's probably nothing well, better. Well, no, but I mean, top three in general, I'm saying. like, I'm sure there are other two that would be up there. You know, I saw Elvis for the first time last month. That's up there. That should be my walk-up song. All it right. Is. That would work. Yeah. But how'd, yeah. You, how'd you feel with the pitching? You know, because I know if you're used to with the ball, and then was it harder to locate than what you thought? Did you think that, or did you find it? Were you just kind uh, of experimenting out there? What it was, was kind of, you know, pitch to pitch. There were a couple where I felt like I found something, and then... Suddenly it was gone. It's definitely very fickle, but that's really not something that's super different in wiffle ball. The same thing kind of happens, but Tom. yeah, it's just uh, you know, working on trying to hit the strike zone. That's really the name of the game. Dude, you absolutely shoved today, bro. Yeah, yeah, some good, some good stuff. You and shoved. I also realized that with the radar gun, I probably can throw a little bit harder. Like I wasn't really throwing over sixty-five too much, so I'm gonna work on doing that a little more tomorrow. Yeah, yo. Well, I mean, going into day two, now you guys got that that pool in in the bank. Are you guys changing anything for the next game? Is there anything that you guys maybe learned from this game that maybe you would do different in the next one? Well, he's going to have to pitch. So, you want to pitch the first inning or the second? I'll do. I'll take the first. That's cool actually no. I, I lied. You have to pitch. You have to pitch the second inning because that way I can pitch the first playoff game. Or I take that works. back. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah yo, we gotta figure it out. same intensity that we came in with today. If not more. Like I don't even mind. Maybe I will get some nerves for tomorrow too, just like I did today. But yo, as long as everything plays out the same. Yeah. We'll be also, how about the crowd for that game? Like, I, I, felt, same, I felt bro. like a playoff I, We don't atmosphere. win that game, bro, if not for the crowd. Yeah. You know? They were into it. I love you all. You know, it was kind of rooting for both. I don't sure, know what you're adrenaline. confused. Bro, no, not facts. Like, every time, every team I see play, I'm like, who do I root for? It's like, Blue versus yeah. Hoodie or Joe's versus freaking Jack. Like, I don't know I who to root for. Man, well, congrats yeah. on your win. On Hell to the yeah, next bro. game, guys. Let's go. Rivalry. Dan, I love you. I'm so proud of you, I man. Love you more. I'm so proud of you. I couldn't be here without you. Matt Flurry Power. Man, that, I thought you guys almost came back there. You were rallying late. I guess speak to that a little bit, like that moment, those moments building up and those at-bats um, that you guys took in that game. Well, at the second inning, you guys down by two. Yeah, so I mean, we just kind of, once we saw like the release out of his hand in the first inning, obviously we didn't see that very well. But once we saw him again, obviously we were, we were kind of right on it, so. Then we really started hitting, and uh, yeah, obviously he just came up just short, but he was kind of just going, he was kind of like just going heaters, so we knew that, and we were just kind of looking for fastballs and hitting them, uh, but yeah, I just couldn't, couldn't push cross two. Was it harder for you, Colin, to locate, or for you to keep the speed down where it's supposed to be? Uh, it was hard for me to keep the speed down, so I was trying to switch arm angles, and then uh, I'd get ahead, and I tried to play too much, and it bit me in the butt. Well, I mean, you guys came up. You guys had some big hits. Um, anything, I mean, from the first game here, well, this is Hoodie's second, but anything <laughs> you guys learned from this one that you would probably take into the next game, maybe you as a pitcher or hitting, just anything like that? 
Uh, absolutely. I feel like in the moment, uh, the velo just kept coming back. Um, so I had to switch arm angles, uh, and I really learned how to how to keep it under 70. Um, and hitting wise, just a better approach. Um, that guy, he was a lefty, throwing fastball only. It would start behind us, um, and we didn't see that until it was too late. Did you guys eliminate all? I mean, any any other pitches or the Every, thought of anything else? Just yeah, fastball? we we were strictly looking for heaters. Eliminated everything and but the it fastball. Worked pretty well. Just uh, just ran out of time there, basically. Close game. So I close. thought that the first inning was crazy. That you, well, you know, it was great that you got out of it because I was thinking, man, it could have been even worse than what it was because of the speed and you having to keep throwing. So the fact that you reined that in, I think that that was big, also to give you guys. Yeah. Could have been way worse. Yeah, yeah, right? been yeah way for worse. sure, for sure. So I'm happy with you guys, man. I mean, it's uh, you got the next team now. You guys got tomorrow. First day in the books. Speak to the intensity in the warehouse for this game. Oh, I mean, that being a close game, that was uh, that was the that was an intense game. Uh, you could definitely feel the pressure in the last inning, every at bat. Yeah, uh, the crowd was so loud. It felt like there was like a couple hundred people in it. People were screaming. That's awesome. Well, see you guys next time. You guys will probably do better next time. So let's oh, see. For sure. Let's for go. Sure. For sure. Came out coming back. Yeah. Thank hoodie though. But he's part of uh, Team McFlurry. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Let's fucking go. Too easy. Hey, just like you said. Drop some. I had a drumstick earlier. <laughs> we go. Did you like to like yourself when you pitch that first inning? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude's a stud. I mean, I never really... Yo, I took BP against him. This ball's moving so much. I mean, I can't hit to begin with, but I fucking really couldn't hit him. Oh, shit. He was moving. Yeah, I, I didn't realize he was a lefty, yeah. Woo! Dan, we love you! Yeah! Woo! Let's go! See if they throw it to me. Oh, they better throw it to you. Basketball. I don't know, I mean... I can start at adding. Most of them are looking good. It's just like, like the really good ones are like 70, 71. Yeah, exactly. Which fucking is bad luck, so... Yeah. I'll find the 69. I, yeah, I just keep pumping it until you find like the 69, 68 range. Nobody hurt. Nobody hurt. Yeah. Huh? You think, breaking ball? Slider? I want, yeah, I, I want, I want, I would do that. Okay. It's risky, but. If I walk him, it's bases loaded. Yeah, I know. It's, it's tough, tough, man. What do you think? I'll go break him up. Keep it under. Oh, run it out, run it out. See, bro, now the nerves are kind of settled a little bit. I'm fucking chilling. That was a rocket. Holy huh? shit. That was a fucking rocket. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you stopped it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, goddamn. Oh, right in the family jewels. There's right here, right here. Aww. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Next time you gotta sell it, make it seem like it was nuts. Nice. All right, let's go. One Boy, more, that was nerve wracking. <laughs> oh yeah, that's funky spin. Yeah. yeah. That was a good ass fucking inning for yeah. us, bro. We're set up, bro. Yeah, like, we're going we're right chilling. off your game plan, dude. We're chilling. You got this. My bad, I mean, elbow you. I just elbowed my teammate. Not elbowed him, I actually slapped him by accident. Yo, Kevin, are those the fucking like Blake Griffin Jordans or some shit? Dude, I got these what? years ago at like a basketball. Those are so old, dude. Yeah, they're really, they're really old. Dude, holy shit. That's like a throwback right there. My basketball coach ran like a charity basketball camp and then just got a shit ton of free shoes and just gave me a pair. That's awesome. I just got like nostalgia looking at him. I said A swing. Okay, okay. good. Okay. okay. I, said, right I finally saw one. I seen you about to run out of the box. 